Welcome back. It's 6.52. Time for your morning news now. A man has been sentenced in the 2022 death of an Altoona resident. 36-year-old Xavier Thompson will serve 22 months in prison, followed by five years of extended supervision. Thompson was charged with second degree recklessly endangering safety in connection with Christopher Connor's death. Connor was found shot at an Eau Claire intersection in September 2022 and later died. A second suspect, Michael Purnell, faces felon murder charges. Opening statements begin today in the trial of Winona man Adam Fravel. 30-year-old Fravel facing first-degree murder charges in the death of Madeline Kingsbury, the mother of his two children. Kingsbury disappeared from their Winona home last year. Her body was found months later near Mabel, Minnesota. Due to extensive media attention, the trial has been moved from Winona County to the Blue Earth County Justice Center in Mankato. Proceedings set to start at 9 a.m. Liam Payne, the former singer of the British boy band One Direction, was found dead yesterday after falling from a balcony in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Police said in a statement, Payne fell from the third floor of a hotel. He was 31. Vice President and Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris set to hold a rally in La Crosse today. This marks Harris's sixth visit to the Badger State since launching her presidential bid. The Harris Walls campaign not releasing too many details yet. That includes the date or the, or the, the time or the location of the rally, but we will keep you updated throughout the day. And taxation is what dominated the debate last night between incumbent Democrat Brad Path and Republican challenger Stacey Klein. They focused on Wisconsin's $4.6 billion surplus. Klein criticized Path for opposing tax breaks, including proposals to eliminate an income tax bracket. Path countered, arguing Republican policies favor a flat tax system, which he says could harm the state. Senator Paff talks about targeted tax relief. There were four separate tax relief bills that came through the legislature in the last session. He voted against three of them. I frankly do not believe that it's fair that a teacher who makes $50,000 a year should pay the same tax rate as a multimillionaire that lives in Madison or Milwaukee. The one item the two agreed about was increasing the child tax credit. In the wake of Hurricanes Milton and Helene, local law enforcement is stepping in to help. The La Crosse County Sheriff's Office is hosting a hurricane relief donation drive at the Onalaska Omni Center. From November 1st to the 3rd, they will collect essential items like first aid supplies, batteries, and flashlights. La Crosse's rotary lights marking its 30th year with a dazzling display of community spirit. This milestone season features special events like Santa visits and an ugly sweater 5K and new this year an inclusive night with lowered lights and music for people with autism. More than 3,000 volunteers and 110 nonprofits power this holiday tradition. Not only do you, they like the idea of a, of a great holiday lighting display, but I think a lot of believe, people believe in the cause of uh, to feed the hungry as well, especially that time of year. Each year, they collect food donations for pantries and food banks. Over the last 30 years, they've collected more than 5 million donations. All right, we can see wind gusts up to at least 25 miles per hour west of the Mississippi and increasing uh, with wind gusts here locally up to 30 miles per hour. That'll put us in weather fire danger. And of course, that elevated fire risk, well, you can see it as we go into the next couple of days. We'll hold on to conditions that are going to be uh, pretty much not in the dry, then we're going to stay pretty much in the, uh, the in the dry conditions coming in the day with those winds getting up to 14 miles per hour and beyond. You can see the mild conditions coming in. And of course, be safe out there. This is all the news. All right, when you're on the road and nature calls, there's nothing more important than a clean, functional restroom. Finally, the search for America's best restroom is over. The 2024 winner is a Maverick service station located near Salt Lake City International Airport. The online nominations list said that Maverick's restrooms deserve recognition for their commitment to cleanliness and comfort with sparkling fixtures, spacious stalls, and fresh amenities. The online contest, sponsored by a national cleaning company, is in its 23rd year. All right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Maybe it's at home, but not, not at an airport. Yeah, yeah. At Salt Lake City, it's pretty far away, unfortunately. <laughs> well, thank you for starting your morning with us. We will see you back here at noon. Until then, enjoy your day.